Come set a lorry loader, high ab truck up properly. PTO on. Ta da! Dump the air out the tractor unit. Ta da! Set control panel to legs. Deploy rear legs. Bring out front legs to a safe distance, then roll over. Check in their locked interplace. Place pads. Bring jacks down. Until the sensor reads that that foot is on the floor. Dump, dump. Repeat the other side. So if you're ever in this position and you can't get a pad underneath, simply keep footing in the back jack and the front leg will lift up. You can also pull that pin on the side there. Switch functions to remote and the crane comes alive. Switch remote on. We've got lights, we're good to go. Right, so now your legs are set up, it is very important to drive the secondary boom up in the air a bit as your first movement because they tend to sort of sag into the cradle when you're driving around and the hydraulics are back in the tank. So with your secondary boom, you want to drive it up in the air. It'll just flick a bit, that's all you need. Then with your primary boom, just start bringing it out. One function, out she comes. Now, when you get to sort of here, you can start doing two buttons at once if you like. So a bit of up and a bit on the secondary, just get her all unfolded nicely. There you go, both buttons down. Slightly slower movement, but it'll all do it at the same time. Get to about here, start bringing the fly jib out on this one. And then you can undo your hook however you've stowed it away. Mine's on two shackles. Now, with this lever, we're going to start booming out for our first lift. Out she comes. I think we'll have that white one there, first of all. There you go. Hardly anything out. You also want to be checking your percentages. So the longer you boom out, the more this is going to go up. This is not a weight gauge. This is what the crane's got left in it. So to the guy yesterday who says, well, I don't use a block grab or pin them in the top, A, I don't like using a block grab when they're painted. I've had these slip in the past. And as for the tops, inevitably these are covered in concrete and full of mank, so you can't put the screws in. I have got them on the truck, but I rarely use them. So there you go, easy peasy.